Hey everyone, it's Friday, December 18th, 9 o'clock p.m. Um, just got out here, boss and I, we came alone this weekend. Uh, we got some work to do. I got a truck box of wood I have to unload. Um, log cuts, so I won't get to cutting or splitting those this weekend, but but the wife and uh, another dog, all four of us, are going to be out here next weekend for Christmas. We're uh, having Christmas out here for the first time. It's uh, unfortunate we were supposed to host Christmas this year for both sides of the family and and uh, whatever. But with COVID, whatever, we'll just uh, postpone it another year or so. And uh, yeah, so I'm just getting the place kind of ready for next week. I brought out a whole bunch of extra stuff just to lighten the load for next weekend and uh, my parents were just staying here they had appointments in the city or whatever so uh, they stayed at the cabin here and uh, you guys gotta see this like <clears throat> during COVID I guess my mom was getting bored and she does a lot of um, like making mucklucks and moccasins and, and gloves and that kind of stuff and uh, I got my gloves this year so I'm super happy because the last pair of gloves she made me was when Boss was, um, when I got Boss. And that was six years ago. And, like, these gloves last forever that she makes, but Boss kind of started the, <laughs> the breakdown process a bit quicker. Uh, as a puppy, he had this thing of biting hands, so. Um, but I got my new mitts. You guys gotta check these out. So, these are, oh, I love them so much. These are raccoon, real raccoon fur on the outside. Just the normal leather, brown leather on the uh, underside. And beaver on the inside. So, yeah, got my gloves. This will probably last me another six or so years these are just the best ever you know there's nothing better than warming your ears up or you know with real fur um yes these are just beautiful I, I you know when she asked what furs i wanted and stuff like that i was like you know there's beaver and whatever and she was listing what she's got and when she said raccoon i was like oh yeah that's that's the one and i just i just love these these are just amazing <clears throat> i always like these gloves homemade they're always so warm like when i'm when i was trapping you know when i had my trap line um it was always homemade mitts with real fur on the inside you could have your hands in the water you could be pulling beavers out of the frozen ice water and and muskrats and stuff like that and just stick these on with soaking wet hands you could get the insides just soaking wet. You can get this whole thing just soaking wet and they would still warm your hands up fast. So that's awesome. I also got a carving set that my grandpa um, <clears throat> used to use. So there was a, you know, there's a bunch of notes all over the place with things and in here. And uh, one of the other things was a carving set, a really old bone handled carving set for any turkey or roast that was cooked in their house. That's what was used. So this uh, seems like a perfect place to keep it. The, like, my hands are literally sweating just holding these. <laughs> That's how warm these are. And believe me, I just got here. It is not warm in here yet whatsoever. I mean, it's it's warm. I left the heat on, and so did they. I told them to. But uh, it's not like it's 30 degrees in here. Okay, it's 20 degrees and well, pretty low on the humidity. But uh, you can see outside, it says it's minus 10. That's a lie. It's minus 17 right now. But that sensor is up against close to where I have a door, so it's getting some draft. <clears throat> but. So. Anyways. Boss and I are out here. Um, I've flown the drone a few times. I haven't posted the video yet. So this weekend is going to be... You know, get some projects done. I'm getting the itch to go winter camping already. Um, I mean, it is, you know, middle of December, but I don't usually go until the new year, uh, just because of timing and everything. So I'm starting to get the itch, and I've been thinking about winter camping, and I've been kind of looking at my gear. And uh, 
I have brought a pile of items out to do gear reviews on this weekend. So you guys are going to see that next after this video is up. The next uh, set is going to be a series of gear reviews uh, in anticipation for winter camping. So they're all directly related to, you know, usually cold weather uh, camping. Now, for those of you that don't know, I don't really do the pitch a tarp and sleep under it kind of winter camping. I've, you know, I've got a canvas tent and a propane heater, a vented propane heater, that kind of thing. So it's like winter glamping, I guess. Um, it's not really rough in it. All the items I brought out to do gear reviews on were things I've been really impressed with in one way or another, or, or really disappointed in. I got a couple of those too. So I figured it's time to do some more gear reviews on that kind of stuff. Uh, stuff that's really either helped me out or, you know, like I said before, that just stuff I really like. Um, find it very practical, very affordable, um, rugged. It can handle the, the, you know, the abuse I put it through. And uh, just stuff I see that I'm always going to be taking with me. <clears throat> I'm going to do a gear review on this at some point, but i got to show you now. This is my Christmas present I got from the wife. Oh, I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh yeah, it is a Ultimax camera bag. So let me bring this down a bit. There you go. Guys, this thing is, this bag is pretty ridiculous. It is awesome. So after I got my drone, I, uh, I didn't have much storage space left in the bag I was using, so this is my early Christmas present. And, uh, yeah, it's got these hard shells on the outside, and I'll do a full, I'll do a full gear review on this, but, but you guys gotta check this out. Like, there's just pouches, there's pockets, and, uh, this is my landing pad for the drone, for the drone. But you can see inside here, there, maybe I should do it this way, might be easier. You can see I've got like tripods and, and selfie sticks and the strap for the auxiliary pouch. I've got hard drives in here, all my accessories for the drone and video editing equipment. You know, the drone, all separate pouches that can be modified, moved around, the controller, you know, the battery pack. Um, I've actually cut, this is where my camera goes that's being used right now. And then I've got my GoPro in here. Um, this is just the top section. And then there's, there's, uh, there's a lot more. There's a lot of pouches and sections and like this zips open and there's all my cables and chargers in there. This top piece opens up, you know, just got a couple garbage bags in there, but uh, it was a pretty expensive bag, but man, what a difference. Got a little notepad, got my uh, Freewell ND filters, ND and polarized filters. There's SD cards and card readers up in here. Um, you know, I've got all my instruction books and everything like that. And that's just the that's just the top part. Like I, I had my tripod strapped to this bag. I've got my uh, I had this hand carry um, thing strapped to the bag. Whoops. 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 Um, then there's a bottom section even. And in the bottom section, I have the actual DJI drone bag, in case I want to just take the drone and a few things. I can just take those into the field and not carry the whole thing. But then you can see under here, I've got even more stuff. I've got all my GoPro, uh, like, chest strap and, and arm strap. I've got all the extra mounts. I've got my my Rode microphone and and uh, i got my floating, floating thing for the GoPro, including a floating stick which seems to be stuck, oh that's why. Floating selfie stick. I've got all my cases for the GoPro in here. Um, I've got a bunch of 
mounts and lights and stuff. Just it's just like you can put so much stuff in here. It's just awesome. And uh, this is all stuff that at one point or another I use. So oh, there's something else in here. What's in here? Instructions, extra SD cards. Uh, looks like batteries for my uh, for my lights. This is just a great bag. Anyways, this was an early Christmas present. Um, and I'm just, I'm in love with it. It's just amazing. So, this is going to really, really help me transport all my gear. It's even got, it's got a spot for the laptop to go. It can fit a 15.6 laptop. So, laptop can slide in there and it's in its own compartment. got these waist pouches as well on the waist strap and uh, just they're just pockets everywhere so yeah that's um, something I'm pretty excited about this is actually the first time it's left the house so it's getting a dry run this weekend I don't know if you guys ever had a tour of like where the bathroom is and everything like that anyways that room desperately needed some TLC there was a beaver uh, statue a stuffed beaver in there and there was no mirror all right let me turn some lights on. there we go there was no mirror but now look see this is empty the beaver used to sit here there was no mirror but there's a mirror there now and uh, so the bathroom actually looks like a bathroom now I'm putting up shelving above the uh, coat rack here. I'm going to be putting a nice deep shelf here to put stuff up. I'm putting two shelves here on top of the hot water tank. So just above the light switch, one there and then one there, but not interrupting the breakers. And this is what I did last weekend. I just put the final mount in it today. And this is where I moved the beaver. So I went to... Uh, the store had to do a curbside pickup, but I got that piece of aspen. I had to get a 4x8 sheet, so I had them cut it uh, into in half, and then I did the rest, but you can see it's shiny, so it's got varathane, and it's sanded, and so now the beaver's up there, and then the two antler sheds I found many, many years ago. Uh, so that's kind of tucked up there. <clears throat> And the rest you would have seen. The pictures and all that kind of stuff that's up there. Anyways, this whole weekend is just going to be a mixture of whatever. So I am going to be just having a bachelor weekend, doing whatever, unloading wood, doing, a, doing I think, eight, eight or nine gear reviews. And I'll be releasing those over the next whatever, 